Jesus, that's the grace of Jesus. He doesn't, that's, that's why good works will never save you. Enough good, you accumulate all the good works, it doesn't matter. It's never enough to undo the evil, to undo the evil of the human heart. It's never enough. It has to be a free gift of grace, a free gift of grace. Understand this, that God does not delight in evil. And that's one of the things that sets Christianity apart is that God hates evil and he's working against evil. And if we want to be like God, we need to hate evil in the same way that he hates evil. And we have to understand this, that he made the greatest sacrifice to deal with our evil. 2,000 years ago, God made a great exchange where he poured out his righteousness. Jesus was nailed to a cross, his blood shed on that Roman cross. And that righteousness that was given up is in exchange, in exchange for our sin. That now he, take, he took on our curse, our evil, and gives us his righteousness, not by our good works, but by his good works. This is what sets the Christian faith apart from all other systems of belief. It's the only thing that can transform you and change you. The state cannot reform you to love your neighbor. In the naturalistic worldview, it doesn't work. In the pantheistic worldview, it doesn't work. In all other theistic worldviews, it doesn't work. It only works in the Christian faith. This is the message of Jesus. Yes, Jesus is exclusive. He's very exclusive. In fact, probably one of the most exclusive out there. He's unapologetic about it, though. But you know what? Everyone else is pretty much exclusive, too. I think we've got to be honest about that. Everybody's claims are exclusive. But I, I think this. I think Jesus' teaching is the most attractive, the most wonderful. And I think it takes evil seriously. It, it, it keeps us accountable. for It deals with our evil, but it also has the way to redeem us and to transform us and to save us from our evil. This is the good news of the grace of Jesus. You know what feels really good? Hitting that beautiful like button. It's just sitting right there, all alone with nothing to do. Help it live to its fullest potential. You know what else feels really good? Embracing that subscribe button. It's like a puppy begging for attention. Just showing it a little bit of love goes a long way. Like and subscribe.